So one of the most common questions we get asked about our four-wheel drive system is how does that compare to an all-wheel drive system? And honestly, it boils down to just one thing. An object that is in motion tends to stay in motion. So a Quigley four-wheel drive system is a traditional four-wheel drive system. When you get in that vehicle and you want to get into four-wheel drive, you pull the lever. Uh, it engages a mechanical transfer case, which then locks the front and rear axle together and equally distributes power 50% to the front, 50% to the rear axles. In an all-wheel drive system, they tend to either be rear-wheel biased or front-wheel biased. And what that means is that you can get good handling on a dry surface. While that's helpful on you know, normal driving conditions, it's not helpful in mud, snow, sand. A good example of our four-wheel drive system compared to an all-wheel drive system is ascending a hill. When the Quigley 4x4 system is climbing a hill, the power is consistent between the front and rear wheels, which allows it to smoothly ascend the hill. In an all-wheel drive system, what it does is it sends power to all wheels um, if they aren't spinning. Once a wheel starts to spin in an all-wheel drive system, the computer takes over. So now you have a computer controlling your traction. And what it does is if a wheel breaks loose and it is spinning, it's going to apply braking through the ABS system to that wheel so that it stops spinning that wheel. And what ends up happening is the vehicle tends to do a little bit of a mountain climber type move. Uh, it will hop around from left to right. So you get a sense, even though that you're trying to move up this mountain, you're losing momentum because the system is actually shutting the power down that is going to those wheels. The vehicle has potential to slip or slide in a downhill descent when the all-wheel drive system uses traction control to apply braking. Uh, in the Quigley 4x4 system, it feels a little bit more sure-footed in a steep descent due to consistent rotation of all the wheels. In the most challenging off-road scenario, the Quigley four-wheel drive system will have at least one front wheel moving and one rear wheel moving. In an all-wheel drive system, you could potentially only have one wheel moving. Of course you'd want to have two wheels spinning because once again we go back to an object that is in motion tends to stay in motion. You'll get consistent power to those wheels. So it'll be a smoother ascent up a rocky area. Coming out of mud, you're gonna get a little more consistent pull. The tires are gonna to continue to spin to get you through that object so that you can get out of that obstacle that you got into.